Hello and welcome. We are continuing our story of Daniel and Belthazar that we find in Daniel chapter 5, verse 22 through 30. And this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene, and it is Thursday, September the 19th. Here's your daily devotion. And here is the word of the Lord. But you, Belthazar, his son, have not humbled yourself, though you knew all this. Instead, you have set yourself up against the Lord of heaven. You had the goblets from his temple brought to you, and you and your nobles, your wives, and your concubines drank wine from them. You praised the gods of silver and gold, of bronze, iron, wood, and stone, which cannot see or hear or understand. But you did not honor the God who holds in his hand your life and all your ways. Therefore he sent the hand that wrote the inscription. This is the inscription that was written. Mani, Mani, Takel, Parsin. Here is what these words mean. God has numbered the days of your reign and brought it to an end. You have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. Your kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Then at Belzar's command, Daniel was clothed in purple, a gold chain was placed around his neck, and he was proclaimed the third highest ruler in the kingdom. That very night, Belzar, king of the Babylonians, was slain. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Idols. And it is again written by Stephanie Hendrickson. And here's what she writes for us on this Thursday. You would think that being able to identify an idol would be easy. After all, the Old Testament describes a variety of idols that the people of God stumbled over again and again. The commandments given to Moses began with a warning against idols. Yet, I think we have idols more often than we could believe, possibly. Ridiculous, you say. I don't worship other gods, objects, or false religions. I go to church and tithe and even volunteer with the youth group. I do all the right things. I pay my taxes and vote in the elections. How could I be worshiping an idol? We must first consider what idolatry is, placing anything above God. Sure, we may not be worshiping the Canaanite god Baal or following the teachings of another religion, but can we say there is nothing in our lives that we focus on more than God? To what or to whom do we spend most of our time listening? For whom do we sacrifice time, energy, and resources? What, when it comes down to it, do we cling to most? If any of these things are not God, then we have an idol that has taken the place of God in our lives. Allow God to examine your heart and reveal anything that comes before him. Living for Jesus, Charles F. Weagle. Help me to serve thee more and more. Help me to praise thee over and over. Live in thy presence day by day, never to turn from thee away. And from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 14. Therefore, my dear friends, flee from idolatry. And this is your daily devotion for Thursday, September the 19th. Have a blessed day.